guys. Uh, I'm going to bring you a video on a chicken dinner. And where I found this recipe was from Living on a Dime uh, to Grow Rich. If you go to their uh, blog, they have all kinds of different recipes. The other day, they gave away um, ebooks. There's uh, a chicken ebook, there's beef ebook, there's um, snacks, desserts, all cooked in a crock pot. So the first recipe that I'm going to make from this ebook is chicken and spice. I have my computer set up right here so I can see what I'm doing in the recipe. So um, again, it's called chicken and spice. What I need to do is it calls for as my computer goes dark on me. It calls for two and a, or excuse me one and a half to two pounds of chicken. So I'm going to put probably a about three pounds. This is uh, two and a half pieces of chicken breast in here and they're huge. Still a little bit frozen. I took them out yesterday. I don't want to get my hands all gooey. I took those out yesterday. Uh, left them on the counter for a little while then put them in the refrigerator. So they are still a little bit frozen. Um, the recipe calls for the meal to cook uh, six hours on high or eight to ten hours on low. I'll probably cook it on low and I'll let you know if I did need to take that long with it. Is this open yet? I started to get some of my ingredients ready. So this here is honey. Uh, we use honey from a local uh, distributor and it's called Rudy's Honey. Rudy's Acapir. Pure honey. Okay, and it's not from our friend Rudy. It is from actually a gentleman that my husband works for. So I'm just going to pour this in one third cup of honey. This uh, free ebook set was announced on Living on a Dime to Grow Rich um, on their live show on eBay. Or excuse me, on. Okay, hold on. Okay. So I found out about this free ebook from livingonadime.com when I was watching their, their YouTube show. They have a live YouTube, YouTube show on Monday and Wednesday. They announced this, I think it was actually last Wednesday. So I went right over to their blog, I guess it's called a blog. I went right over to their blog and I bought, I got for free. All right, let's see. I need, I need three garlic cloves. I don't have clove, so I'm gonna use minced garlic. I'm going to use a tablespoon. I'm going to use a tablespoon of minced garlic. I think that would be pretty much three cloves. And I do love garlic. So I'm going to put that in first. It calls for um, one teaspoon of basil. I um, dry my own basil, so that's what this is. I'm going to put a little in my hand, and then I just crush it. This has been uh, dried in my um, dehydrator from last year. I'm going to need some more. I love doing my own spices. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there, and then I need half a cup of soy, half a cup of ketchup, and one third cup of honey. I already have my honey poured. Half a cup of soy, that's a lot of soy sauce. Soy sauce is salty, so that's a lot. But, you also have the honey, Ooh, I almost spilled it. That's going to um, help with that. The honey is a good sweet. And then ketchup, it's delicious. We always use Brooks ketchup. And I am not an affiliation of any of these brands. I talk about the Brooks Ketchup all the time. I should see if they'll give me free stuff for advertising, but they don't. Um, and then the honey. Put that in there. There. Everything I just poured right up on top. That's it. Right, it took me all of five minutes. I'm going to put it on low. And there you go. I'm going to bring you a little closer. Let me my hands off. I hope this is a good 
shot. I'm going to bring you a little closer just to show you what it looks like in there. And it's kind of dark over here. Can you see okay? There. Okay. So that's it. And we'll give it a little stir. And I'm just going to let it cook. Again, I will let you know if it takes um, the 8 to 10 on low. I'll bring you back in a little bit. Okay, guys, it's been about 2 hours, 2 hours and 15 minutes. I just stirred it. Um, this is really looking good. And I think it's getting coming on to done, which surprises me. This here is thicker. Um, this was one piece and it kind of fell apart. Um, so I'm just going to keep cooking this. I do have a meat thermometer if I want to stick it in there, but I'm just going to keep cooking it and let it do its thing. Uh, it is looking and smelling delicious. I think this is going to be an awesome meal. I just made some homemade buns, which um, we might end up having this on homemade buns. I might make rice or maybe potatoes. We'll see. Okay, folks, it has been uh, three and a half hours. I started it at about 11.30, uh, and it's now 3 o'clock. So I'm going to shut this off. This is done. I did um, do some baked potatoes in the microwave. So I think we'll end up having uh, baked potatoes with them and a vegetable. This here looks delicious. This, uh, where I'm going to put it. I do have homemade buns. Those are delicious. Um, I'm going to bring you a little closer and show you. Sorry, the camera's kind of bumpy. Can you fly over there? Yeah, it's dark. It looks really, really good. I haven't tried any of it yet. So. That look awesome. Okay. Let's see. Down there. All right. Now I'm gonna get my bowl. Put a little bit of this in here. Come on now. It's starting to fall apart, which is fine. You can do this recipe, I would think, in two different ways. You could have it where it falls apart and it's like a, a pulled pork, a pulled chicken. And then you can eat it that way on a bun. Or eat it this way, cut in half. So I'm going to take a little bit of this and try it. Really hot. But very good. That was really good. I want to try some of the juice, but I'm going to have to let it cool off a little. That is super good. Like I said, this was easy. You saw me put it together. It took five minutes to throw everything in there. So let's try the juice. Oh, well, that's really good. I can taste, I can taste the honey, a little bit of the uh, soy sauce. That is super good. I don't think that any um, sauce or spice is overpowering in that. That is delicious. I will show you uh, when we're ready to eat. I'll plate it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Not sure, like I said, how we're really going to eat it. I do have the potatoes ready. I do have these amazing buns. I made two batches. Rudy can just eat these. He comes over to work in the in the shop. He'll just he'll just eat three of these. I don't know how he does it. So anyway, really good recipe. Excellent. I suggest you try going to livingonadimetogrowrich.com. Look them up. Find their recipe. 
I'll bring you back just to show you that plate.